you went into like a recruiting coordinator um, position for a while, right? You were trying to get yeah. players to the next level. Yeah. Um, how important is that to you as someone, you know, trying to get kids to the next level, not just to um, finish at high school? Like we've seen people mm -hmm. from Marlin go to that, whether it's D1, D2, or, or D3, like, like UMHB, like yourself. Um, how important was that for you to get like Galette and people like that to the next level? Well, I'll tell you, man, um, during that time when I was at Marlin and and Coach Torres was, was my coach yeah. um, at the time, man, he kind of graced me with that with that role. And um, I just kind of took that role, man, and, and ran with it. kind of touched bases with guys, um, Cassius Johnson, who was my coach. When, when, um, when Coach Malone was there, he introduced me to a few guys that he knew in the DFW area who were, who were really – you know, known for this recruiting stuff, man. So I just kind of got with them, did my research, and, you know, just put my own little touch on it and, and kind of went from there with our kids in Marlin um, at the time. It's nothing it's nothing more, you know, greater than when when those kids are not only taking care of their business in the classroom academically, but also getting a chance to play at the next level. And those are things that – those opportunities that we had, that, right. you know, coming up when we were playing. And so I want to make sure of being a – not only a, a graduate of Marlin, but as a coach at the time, making sure that I help those kids, give those kids the same opportunity. And like I tell them, it's it's, it's not me, you know, that that gets you the scholarship. You know, it, everything that you do, we have a plan. If you follow the plan and do what you're supposed to do, man, it, it'll all work out itself. You know, taking care of your academics, you know, putting what you put on tape, you know, it, it matters. And also, I just kind of learned, you know, following the right people on Twitter and then, and learning how to give our kids the exposure that they needed at the time, knowing when to post the highlights, knowing what to put on the highlights, because everything is not a highlight. And you got to understand nowadays that college coaches are probably going to watch at the max probably a minute, if that, you yeah. know, your highlights. So yeah. you got to make sure. Because it's so much, right? Yeah, you're yeah. being very strategic yeah. on that. You know, and um, so like I say, I would like guys like Galette, um, yeah. Zamar and Lofton, Trey Butler, Desmond Woodson, all those guys that came through, Per Jones, um, just different guys that that came through during that time, that last time, that part that I was there in Marlin. Those guys are going on now, and they and they're, they got opportunities to play at the next level, and I'm very very happy for them. Obviously, you know, Jare Bledsoe came back. Yeah. He didn't get a chance to, you know, play at Marlin, but, you know, you see him doing right. his thing now at Texas. So just very, just very blessed and very happy for those young men, you know, the opportunity that those guys are getting. And like I told them, you know, you're laying the foundation for the ones up under you. Right. So now you got um, guys that's right there in Marlin, like Tyron Bell, all of those guys right now, um, yeah. Steele, yeah. all of those guys that yeah. college coaches now, gonna, they're going to look there like they did once before. You know, they, they know it's talent there. Like I said, all they got to do is do what they're supposed to do it. They'll get their opportunity. So even even up even up until I, when I went to Midway, you know, same thing, you know, just small town now with just more kids, you know, and so just kind of helping those kids there just like what I, you know, did in Marlin, trying to just be, just make a positive impact, you know, outside of it. And I tell kids all the time, man, like you can go to school and everybody's not going to go to school to play ball. And so we stress the academics, man. I go get your school paid for with your academics. You can't do no without that, you know. So just kind of just reaching out and doing what we can, you know, to make sure, man, you know, bro. kids are getting the best opportunity.